Here's how to get your very own horse in The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. In this guide, I won't be covering how to own a horse quite yet, as it is a bit spoilery and happens a bit later in the story. Instead, I'll be covering how to simply rent a horse from Hyrule Ranch. First off, there is one prerequisite to renting a horse, which is that you'll need to have completed the first dungeon in Southern Woods, aptly called the Southern Ruins. As soon as that's done, you'll clear the rifts blocking access to the rest of Hyrule. Once you begin the Searching for Everyone main quest, you'll actually be able to explore almost anywhere in the land, including the expansive Hyrule Field. Just north of the southern village, you'll see a narrow pathway continuing up north with a man in front of it. Talk to him and he'll give you a side quest to clear the path. There's probably multiple ways to do this, but I used the rock echo to break the box on the left, and then I pushed the giant boulder north until the pathway was clear. Once done, talk to him again to get a reward and then continue north. Right away, you'll spot a waypoint. Activate it and then continue west to Hyrule Ranch. On the west side of the ranch, talk to the old man who will tell you that horse rentals are closed until they find their missing horse. You'll then get the side quest, Runaway Horse. Exit the ranch through the south, and the missing horse will be directly west, on a small island. Jumping on the horse will teach you how to ride it, but first you'll need to build a bed bridge to the right. Do that, then jump on the horse and start riding. The horse will jump the small ledge to escape the area, then return to the old man at the ranch and turn in the quest. From here, he'll let you rent a horse for free. Pick one, just not the white horse, sorry. And there you have it. You now have a horse to ride around as long as you want. Horses are pretty fast over most terrain and can be urged to charge, which will also deal a bit of damage to monsters in your path. The last horse you ride will create an icon on the map, so that way you'll be able to find it if you dismount somewhere and lose track of it. Luckily, this marker will persist through warping or even reloading the game. The only downside is that you cannot call the horse to you at this point in the game, so you'll need to keep it nearby as you travel around if you plan on using it often. And finally, while it can defeat smaller enemies, it will only damage larger enemies, and if you take damage while on the horse, you'll be knocked off. And there you have it, you now kind of have your first horse in Echoes of Wisdom. For more guides like these, make sure to head on over to our growing Echoes of Wisdom wiki on IGN.com. And of course, for everything else video games, stick with IGN.